everybody let's go do some micro shelling today it is beautiful check out those waves let's try to hit uh, 300 likes on this video let's get straight into we'll it be doing some micro shelling to start off the day we've got a huge rack line right here and then another huge pile just down there but I'm gonna start off here because I actually saw a bean straight away look at all these uh, sand dollars there's just an incredible amount see there's like one two three let me just count them real quick four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen there's just so many anyway i have way too many uh sand dollars as it is so don't think i'll be needing any of those look at that there's a bean cowrie right there sitting in some bush the first one that drew my attention though and now as i'm looking at it i see a clandestine right there right next to it that's what drew my attention to this little area so that's awesome got two bean cowries right there sweet and a clandestine awesome I am going to be doing some normal showing today I think but right now while the tide is still a bit high I thought I would check it out right now up here where's the bigger pile at oh yeah just over here it's just an unbelievable amount of sand dollars. That's actually pretty big. That's a big one. Cool. There's a nice looking pile right there. Any beans here? There's just so many sand dollars. I'm not going to stop talking about it today. Wow, look at that big piece of coral. I call this um, DNA coral. And that's one of the biggest pieces I've ever found for sure. Look at it. Oh, I thought that bush was attached to that. That's a shame. And look at all the sand dollars trapped inside of that one. That is awesome. Nice piece of coral. Do we have any more of those pieces? Nope, just a lot of sand dollars. Oh, what was that? Uh, girl the Triton piece. That's a shame. I want to find another carrier shell today. I think that would be awesome. A really big one would be really nice. Anything in here? Ton piece. Broken ton. Oh, there's a little, uh, what is it? Where did it go? Ah, a little pheasant shell. See the red right there? Right in the center of the screen, that's pretty nice. Really cool colors on that one. All right, we're at the bigger pile now. What do we see? Usually the carrier shells I find are usually upside down. Nice pile. Oh, that's a cool bit of coral. <laughs> Little, like, vase sort of thing. Big red piece of coral. I've filled up my jar, my jar of red coral, so I don't need any more. Tiny barnacle. Pretty cool. Yeah, I'll keep it. I don't actually have my little container with me today. I've just got my uh, pocket because I didn't really expect to be doing micro shilling today. Keep moving down the line. There's a nice looking sand door. Round one. I like that. Oh, there's another piece of uh, DNA coral. Look at that. Awesome. I love those pieces. Any carriers here? Just a heck load of uh, sand dollars. Oh, we have another clandestine. Look at that. That's a big one too. Really nice pattern on it. Awesome. That was a nice little surprise. Surely there's a carrier shell somewhere here. Just look at that pile. And then we've got another pile down there. Definitely going to check that out later. A... Hey, uh... What is it? Magnificent volute piece. More 
more little sand dollars. Not many bean calories. I found two straight off the bat when I arrived. But that's all I've found so far. I haven't stopped the camera at all. That's a big sand dollar. Cool. Definitely gonna keep that. Look at that, is that a bubble shell? It is a bubble shell. Nice. Sweet as. Straight in the pocket. What do we see here? What sort of a cowrie is this? Just a really faded common cowrie. I'm gonna leave that. Let's keep moving down the line. Let's try here. Oh, wait. That's from a uh, that's from a mole carry. That's one of my dream shell finds. Dang, it's a shame. My like dream shell finds right now are either a mole carry or a map carry, or just a mega um, baler of volute. What do I see down here? Another pheasant shell. Cool. Orange. any sand dollars in here? I mean, of course there's sand dollars in here, they're everywhere. Any uh, beans? There is a bean, so that's number three for the day, surprisingly. Hopefully the camera can pick it up, there we go. They are so tiny. Let's keep moving along. Barnacle piece. Ah, another DNA coral piece. But it's really rough. Look at that piece of coal. That's cool. That's really nice. Really white. It's coming to an end now. I think then we'll do some normal shelling. Or we'll check out that pile at the front. Another piece of DNA coral. Sweet as. That's three pieces today. I can't believe that massive first one that we found. Guys, comment down below if we do, uh, if you guys see anything that I don't. What is that? Piece of a bonnet. Ooh, a couple pheasant shells. We got one, brown one. Let me get that sand off. And then another one right next to it. Oh, I see a bean carry. Look at that, awesome. So we've got three micros there. Cool as. This looks like a nice pile here. Do we see anything? There's another pheasant. Oh, it's broken. Dang. Take a look. Do you see anything? Pause the video, comment down below if you see anything that you like. Let's come down here a bit more. It's really starting to hurt my feet kneeling down for so long. Oh, uh, well, you start to get used to it. What's that? Oh, a slipper shell. Look at this. These ones are exactly like the slipper shells from uh, Florida. See how it's got the slipper part right there? I love them. I think they are so rad. Okay, I think we might head down the front now. No carrier shells for today, by the looks of it. There's a blue cowrie. Bit of a strange shape. Okay, I think all we're gonna do now is head down to that pile. One second. Let me just make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh, look at that red one there. That's cool. The camera can see it, hopefully. That's very cool colors. What do I see? Well, I need to stand up straight for a second. Anything in here? Don't think so, just a ton of bar sandals. Alrighty, let's head down to the front. Really nice pile at the front here. Look at this. That is a huge pile, actually. Way along here. Holy 
Molly. This is usually where we find a lot of the uh, pheasant shells. Harry Triton, peace. Big uh, DNA coral. That's like the fifth piece for today. How good is that? Is that a piece of sea glass? It is, uh, yes it is for sure. Look at the size of that pheasant. Holy moly, that thing is huge. Wow, that's incredible. So we got three really nice ones there. And right under it is a nice little cowrie. Awesome. That's a nice little hole there. Just look at this pile. Awesome, we are gonna find some good stuff in here for sure. More red pieces of coral. Wow, this is cool. Hopefully I'll still be able to go normal shelling. Just feel like I'll be here for an hour looking for all this, right? Look at that. It just keeps going. <coughs> wow. Dang it, I thought that was a grape. Oh well. It's a limpet. Nice one. Awesome. Don't usually get nice colored ones. Here's the biggest stuff. Oh, is that a mini ton? Dude, that is a mini ton. I've never found a mini ton shell. That's crazy. It's intact. Awesome. I can't believe it. Mini ton shell. Ton shells are rare as it is, but to find a mini... Now, I don't usually collect uh, crab parts, but sometimes I find these head shells, and sometimes they look really cool, sometimes they're a bit nasty. But well, this one's pretty nice. It's like a maroon color. Cowrie. Oh yeah, this is a uh, cat cowrie. Ooh. Very cool. Much like the cat cones, but I'll take it. What about around here? Just looks like a lot of pieces. There's a piece of a bean. Oh, not a bean, a uh, bubble shell. Yo, that's a mega, oh my goodness. That is a huge pheasant shell. That's for sure the biggest one I've ever found. Wow, that's incredible. Love that. Awesome. Definitely a keeper. Look at this pile as well. Oh, there's a giant bean. Nice, just sitting, waiting. Sweet as. That's awesome. Oh, I see a droop. I see a droop. Look at this pile. That is awesome. That's nice. It's a bit old, but that's all right. Cool. Anything else in here? That is freezing. Don't see too much though. See a nice limpet. Usually the smaller the limpets get, the uh... Oh, I see a clandestine, I think. Yes, a ve oh, yeah, for sure. Very old clandestine. Awesome. Cool. Look at this pile. Holy moly. It's freezing right here. 
get that out of the water, that's for sure. That is a carrier shell. Yes, awesome. That's exactly what I wanted to find today. And right as I was looking across here, I see a Wendell trap. Look at that, a Wendell trap and a carrier shell sitting right there. Let's put them right next to each other. That looks so awesome. Look at that. How good is that? Let me get a thumbnail real quick, you guys. Look at that. That is so awesome. A carrier shell and a wendell trap. That is crazy cool. Ew. Pretty stoked on that. It does have a slight hole, but it does have a couple of uh, carrier items on it. That's awesome. It actually does have two holes, but that's all right. That's a really nice find. Very happy about that. That was awesome. Now, I actually just spot these two bean carries sitting right next to each other. How good is that? So, we got one there and two there. I'm going to show you guys all the shells that we found today at the end of the video. So let's go check out what we found today. Just walking around these little rock pools here looking for some shells and I found something pretty cool. Look at this, I spotted this first, a Hebrew, and then right up above it. So here is the Hebrew, black and white shell. And then here is a donkey, another black and white shell. How good is that? Donkeys are actually pretty hard to find sometimes. So that was really lucky. Awesome as. Here are all the micro shells that we found today. We did pretty well. I'm pretty excited on what we found. Obviously the best shell of the day, the carrier. Very, very cool. One of my favorite shells ever is carrier shells. It's got two holes in it, unfortunately, but it does have a pretty good amount of stuff carried on it. Then we did find a Wendell trap right next to that carrier shell. Uh, we got a giant pheasant shell today. That was pretty freaking cool. Definitely the biggest one I ever found. Place it back down there. Got a couple of uh, sand dollars there. There were hundreds and hundreds today. A lot of DNA coral, a couple of beans, donkey, pheasants, two nice limpets, nice little coral vase. Bunch of good stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribe.